Do you enjoy camping and are looking for ways to get even more out of your outdoor experiences? In this video, I will go into my must-have luxury items that I take on almost every adventure I go camping. While not strictly necessary, these items really elevate any hike, bike, canoe or backcountry exploration. I will sprinkle in lots of useful tips and tricks along the way to get even more value out of using these items. So let's start in no particular order with the first one. Recently, one of my favorite pieces of gear has been this EVA soak mat that has a plethora of uses. It's an extra layer of protection against sharp things like thorns that can puncture my sleeping mat at night. The extra insulation it provides is especially nice when inside a tent on a cold wet ground when you don't want to blow up a sleeping mat and taking up a lot of space. When taking a break, it's easy to lay out somewhere on the ground and lay down to relax and give you some cushioning and keep your clothes nice and clean. On that note, it's great to do yoga or stretching on too. Evazote is a closed cell foam-like material that doesn't soak up water. I found it to be super resilient against packing and folding into tight spaces. It always seems to spring back into place fairly well, unlike some other foam materials that get permanently damaged that way. One of the most annoying chores I find is blowing up my air mattress at the end of a long day when I'm tired. Perhaps you have seen this tiny mattress bump popping up on the scene recently. We present a pre-production model of the Zero Pump from Flextail to try and see if it lives up to the promise of being super small, lightweight and fast. It weighs about 60 grams including the battery and included is a full array of nozzles to fit most sleeping mats. It's easy to use with one on off button and because the rubber nozzles attach securely you can leave it to blow up without having to hold it in place so you can do other things. On the average it takes about a minute or so but it depends on the size of the mattress of course. Our release doesn't have a possibility to charge the battery without an extra charger which kind of defeats the purpose of a small and lightweight pump. However, they ship it now with a USB rechargeable battery making it super tiny and convenient to always have around. If you're interested, check out the link in the description. I'm a pretty stiff individual and sitting down on the ground gets uncomfortable pretty fast. I've tried many chairs over the years and found them to be too heavy or not provide enough support. The Chair Zero from Helinox sure is an expensive alternative, but I found it to be very comfortable for the weight. It's not without its flaws though. The little feet can sink into the ground and I have fitted these inexpensive and super lightweight training golf balls to prevent that from happening. It can be tippy as well when leaning backwards, so I try and place the hind legs a little higher than the front legs, so the chair is tilted slightly towards the front, making the sitting angle a bit more upright. The materials are lightweight and super strong at the same time and built with excellent craftsmanship. It fits nicely in the pouch that it comes with, creating a compact package that stows away easily. Cooking is one of my favorite things to do in the backcountry. And while open fire has my romantic preference, often I just want to get it done fast and easy. Gas canister stoves, just do that. Clean, easy to set up, ready steady, cook. The Fire Maple Blade 2 is an excellent little titanium stove that weighs only about 150 grams and packs a lot of nice features. First of all, it's a remote canister stove with wide feet to create a stable base for cooking low to the ground. Unlike the on top of the canister stoves that granted are much lighter, but they tend to tip over easily because of the higher center of gravity. Just the stability of the ground stoves is worth it in my experience. A bonus here is that when the weather gets cold, the liquid gas is difficult to vaporize. This stove has a feature to invert the canister and have the liquid gas vaporize via this little bent tube, making the liquid gas pass along the heat of the stove head. It's a very nice little stove that can cook water fast and also lets you simmer your food for a lot of cooking flexibility. For our video making endeavors, I carry a lot of camera related electronics. Keeping them waterproof is of the highest importance and I always struggled to find the solution which could do that and at the same time have it well organized. The Night Eyes runoff waterproof packing cube is exactly what it says. 
for everything you want to keep dry and pack away in a packing cube. Because it is slightly stiff and cube shaped, I found that I can easily put in smaller containers and organize them in a way that they don't become jumbled up like the dry bags I used to use for that purpose. The special zipper makes for a completely waterproof seal and a cool trick is to close it up almost all the way, push out the air and then close it up to get a kind of vacuum sealed bag that takes up less space in your bag. In the video I'm using the large model, but they come in a small, medium and large size to tailor to different needs. Made with quality materials and the welded seams make for a product that looks like it's built to last. Now I would like to learn from you in the comments down below what your must have items are. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't already. If you want to go more in depth into the gear we take on our adventures, check out the video linked up here. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day.